not joining any other party. Urmila Matanka after leaving Congress actress politician Urmila Matanka, who resigned from Congress party earlier this month, said on Tuesday that she is not joining any other party. Her clarification came amid rumors about her joining Shiv Sena following her meeting with the personal assistant of party chief Udav Thackeray. She added that her talk with Milan Navikar was just a courtesy meeting with J and K move. PM showed strength sought by Sada Patel. R.S. Prasad Indian Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad today said it took 70 years for the Indian government to show its strength and nullify Article 370. Reading out a quote from Patel's biography, Prasad stated, Sardar Patel said, The future will depend upon the strength and guts of Indian government. Prime Minister Narendra Modi had to demonstrate that strength after 70 years. The ballot paper is history now. ECO on Maharashtra Assembly elections addressing a press conference on Maharashtra Assembly elections. On Wednesday, Chief Election Commissioner Sunil Arora said, Few political parties have asked about voting through ballot paper. We have told him it is not possible. It's history now, he added. He further said, Electronic voting machines, EVMs, cannot be tampered. EVMs can malfunction but cannot be tampered. Tampered defamation suit against Digvijaya Singh for comments against BJP A criminal defamation suit was filed against Congress leader Digvijaya Singh for his alleged statement. BJP and Bajrang Dalar taking money from Pakistan's ISI. The court will look into the petition on October 9. Earlier, Uttar Pradesh BJP leader Satish Arora had filed a criminal case against Digvijaya Singh for his statement. Bajrangdal had also condemned Singh's statement. Momota are meeting PM Modi to save Rajiv Kumar. Vijay Vargya General Secretary Kailash Vijay Vargya said that West Bengal CM Momota Banerjee is meeting Prime Minister Narendra Modi in a last-ditch effort to save former Kolkata Police Commissioner Rajiv Kumar. The CBI is looking for Rajiv Kumar in the Sarada Chit Fund case. On Tuesday, a district and sessions court had rejected Kumar's pre-arrest bail plea.